Eight detection teams have been deployed to Pasir Gudang in an effort to narrow down the possible source of contamination in the area. The teams are tasked with gathering samples every few hours and the air quality readings will be analysed by a technical committee comprising experts from various agencies. Johor Fire and Rescue Department Director Datuk Yahya Madis said the teams would focus on nine spots including the schools which were hit on June 20th along with the areas near Sungai Kim Kim and chemical factories in the area. Untuk hari kodang biasa dan uh, dia tidak uh, memberikan uh, kesan pada orang awam sebab itu saya kerap mengingatkan bahawa uh, penduduk pasir kodang tidak perlu risau dan mimbang mereka boleh meneruskan Activity mereka seperti biasa, cuma langkah berjaga-jaga. Yahya said so far about 50 from the hazmat teams, including those from other states, had been deployed. He said the records will be kept for comparison as well to keep track of the air quality conditions in Pasir Gudang.